Added variable plot or partial regression plot is one of the more useful diagnostics plots after regression analysis. This plot also demonstrates some features of regression analysis. So let's take a look at what partial regression plot actually does. And uh, we need some data and a regression model to do the plot. So we have the data here, the prestige data, and we run a regression on uh, of prestige on income, education and share of women. And uh, then we do the partial uh, regression plots or added variable plots and they're shown here. So these plots, uh, we usually do them for every independent variable, but these are basically three uh, plots, three independent plots. And we'll just be looking at the first one now because the other ones are done the exact same way. So this is the first added variable plot or partial regression plot. Why it's a partial regression plot will become clear in, in a few moments. But the idea here is that we have a, a line that goes with the data. So this is a scatter plot of data and then there's a regression line. So, so what are these data about? So these are not our observations. It is our education conditional others, prestige conditional on others. So understanding what these observations or what these uh, points here signify, what the line signifies, it's useful to understand how this is actually calculated. And it is very simple to calculate. So this is an uh, R code for my own added variable plot. The idea of added variable plot is that you uh, first regress one of the independent variables, prestige, on other independent variables, income and women here. Then we regress the uh, dependent variable on the other independent variables except prestige. And then we take the residuals. So we take residual of this regression analysis here and then residual for this other regression analysis here. Those of you who don't understand R, the education here is the dependent variable, then income and women are the independent variable. So it's, it's pretty uh, simple to understand, just a slightly different way of writing education equals beta 1 times income plus beta 2 times women plus beta 0. Then we run a regression analysis where we simply have the prestige residual as the dependent variable, the residual of education as the dependent variable, and we do a scatter plot and we draw the regression line. Then uh, the result is our partial regression plot. So this plot here is our built-in plot and this is what the R uh, uh, what the R command does. So what the AV plot command does in R and this is uh, using the built-in plot command. So uh, we can do the exact same plot. The uh, diagnostic plot for regression analysis just adds some uh, adds a grid here and it adds uh, nicer labels for the plot and the plot axis. So uh, this is exactly the same otherwise. So the plot here explains or tells us what is the relationship between our education and prestige when we eliminate all other variables from the model. So it tells us what is the, the bivariate relationship after we control for other variables. We can also view this uh, or consider this from the Venn diagram perspective. So the Venn diagram perspective on, on uh, regression analysis is that we have uh, the dependent variable here. We have uh, that's the prestige. Then we have the independent variables. This is the uh, education and this is the other variables. So the prestige and, and education are correlated. This area here is the correlation and we want to know what part of this regress this uh, overall correlation is unique to education and prestige and not accounted for by these other variables. So we can see that there's some overlap between all the variables and there are some unique relationships between all of these variables and this signifies two different variables here. So what we do here is that we uh, regress prestige on these other variables we regress education on these other variables and then we take the residual. So the residual is the part here in this, if this is a multivariate regression model, the residual is the part that the other variables don't explain. So if we regress education on these other variables, prestige on these other variables and we take the residuals, what remains is this. So we have the residual of prestige residual of, of education and uh, now the added variable plot tells us 
graphically about these bivariate relationships. So importantly the correlation or, or between these two variables is the uh, is now the regression coefficient if we are using standardized estimates. So we get as the correlation tells us this uh, regression coefficient. And that's how so here this uh, income conditional on others is this area after we have eliminated uh, all the variation that the other variables explain prestige here prestige here on the y-axis is this prestige residual after we eliminated the influence of all other variables from the model from the data. Also another interesting feature is that uh, the regression coefficient if we have a uh, regress prestige on education income of women and then we regress the residual from the uh, added variable plot regression on the other residual. So we have the residual of prestige and residual of education. This regression coefficient here is exactly the same as the regression coefficient here. So uh, you can calculate uh, regression coefficients this way as well. So you can take variation away one by one and then you get the final regression coefficient for the final variable would be the same as the regression coefficient if we entered all variables at the same time. So uh, we can check that correlation is here, same as here. The standard errors differ because here we assume that the effects of education, uh, uh, income on women are known, but here they are estimated. So this is uh, slightly different for that reason. And uh, so that's uh, that regression coefficient that is actually uh, the slope of this line. So why is this useful? It is useful because it allows you to graphically present how, where, how one variable influences the dependent variable. And when you have a line, then it's uh, the slope tells you everything that you need to know about the line. But when you have more complicated relationships, like when you fit a log, log transform dependent variable or log transform independent variable, or you fit a U shape where you have a square of variable, then you can use the same kind of plotting for, uh, for those when you don't have a line but you have a curve and then you can uh, check how that curve explains the data controlling for all other variables. So this is uh, useful not only for uh, diagnostics but also for interpretation and I have myself used this kind of plots in one paper that I've written for interpretation purposes. Also this uh, the idea that uh, this regression coefficient is the same as regressing one residual on another allows you to understand what uh, this paper by Agunis and Vandenberg are saying. So they're saying that uh, if we have lots of controls in the, in the model then uh, we're basically uh, just analyzing residuals from a model where the dependent variables is first regressed on those controls and the independent variable is regressed on those controls as well. So we are analyzing the relationship between two residuals. Uh, whether that is problematic or not is uh, something that I will not go into in, in this video. But it's technically correct to say that this is just a residual.